guys welcome back to electrical car repair live thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel in today's video guys we are going to test a muff sensor and show you how to test a muff sensor on chevy cruise guys so uh, if you guys have a chevy cruise that will be a very helpful video to you guys it will work on uh, most of the engines guys and we will demonstrate on 1.8 and what to expect what readings to get from a good sensor demonstrated here with a perfectly working sensor now quick introduction guys we will have more than 200 videos on this car on this chevy cruise guys and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop this is guys because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video hopefully you will find the information helpful guys and it will guide you in the right way okay to save you money so this is the 2015 Chevy Cruze that we're working on now guys and let me show you what computer scanner we'll be using you can do that with a very cheap scanner but if you're guys on the market for a good quality scanner that can do quite a bit guys pretty much like dealer level equipment not just for Chevy Cruze but for most vehicles guys check out the link in the description of the video below also if you need guys any tools okay or any parts we have everything listed there so let me explain to you something guys now this is the Chevy Cruze here and let me explain to you where the MAF sensor is located. So the mass airflow sensor is located guys right here. Okay on your air filter box. This is the sensor and what this sensor does now it detects how much air the engine is getting. That way it can adjust its fuel and it can work efficiently. So if that sensor is no good guys okay uh, the uh, engine will get the wrong information or if it's not working it will just use some preset guys preset values so it can run but it will not be efficient it will not be as powerful and it will burn more fuel so i'm going to go ahead and connect it here now perfect and let me show you what we'll be doing we need to turn the ignition on now okay great now as i said guys if you're on the market for a good scanner consider this one you won't be disappointed let me show you what you can do with that little guy it works on pretty much any car guys you can even work okay on bugatti bentley lamborghini porsche we've done quite a quite a few scanner scanning uh, codes on porsche actually with that one it works great and see the different cars that it supports so we'll go to general motors and we'll actually click manual selection now we'll do everything by hand otherwise you can click automatic selection it will read the, read the VIN number and tell you which vehicle we have but if you want to see how to do it manually this is it guys that way I can select my own engine okay what we have here otherwise the computer will do it but sometimes I like to be in charge of the situation so everything's charging now everything's good it asks you which radio type we have it's other radio let's say doesn't it doesn't matter we will not be scanning the radio system now we go to control unit and here we are going to select engine control module we have live data right here guys now it will ask us probably if we have automatic or manual transmission automatic right there and now what we need to select guys right here quite a few things actually right check it out so you have so many different systems that you can uh, you can check and what we'll do we'll select engine okay and now guys the mass airflow sensor okay let's scan and find where this one is short term evap ac compressor engine oil pressure so let me just see where that one exactly is because it's a little complicated okay a little bit of a complicated design here so many things that you can actually see yourself that it's it just crazy guys and it should say something like grams per okay grams per second or something like that uh, it really it really depends on engine oil level exhaust trim fuel trim let's go to fuel trim and see there every car is so different nowadays completely different guys and uh, that computer he has the programs for most of them so okay we have the map sensor this is the one that detects the the pressure so we need the math mass airflow sensor not the math sensor okay so let me make sure that i didn't miss it somewhere and you can see guys how many things you can check with that thing but it's <laughs> 
sometimes it does get complicated and I'm going to show you a simple computer that is uh, going to demonstrate things even a little bit easier this one you can read and delete codes from ABS airbag uh, systems traction controls guys and engines you can do quite major functions such as steering angle assist so it's a good computer too guys I'm going to include the link it's way cheaper by the way but it does amazing live data view that's what I like about this one it makes things a little bit um, simpler okay you can just see things really nice usually the model that we check is this one here but check all of them for live data because you may experience something else there so the car is completely warmed up now guys uh, we're going to check that under live data yeah probably coolant temperature it's about 100 degrees now or uh, celsius or about 210 fahrenheit probably even the fan will turn on soon and uh, we're going to uh, verify that with the live data here guys i'm sorry for the longer video but this one will be way easier uh, to show you guys because other uh, the other one does calculation from the map sensor and the intake temperature and uh, things are a little bit more complicated with the other scanner so coolant temperature 99 so it uh, warmed up car guys okay i'm going to scroll more and we're going to select the map sensor here guys okay view graph okay at idle now at idle it's about 4.4 grams per second and outside right now it's 91 degrees guys 91 degrees so if i rev the engine up a little bit okay 2000 rpm just stay uh, okay a little bit less let me right there it's about 9 grams per second at 2000 3000 rpms it's about 13 guys so you can see for every rp uh, for every 1000 rpms it increases f at about 4500 guys 40 uh, uh, 4.5 grams per second so that's a good working math sensor and it needs to be responsive when i give it gas it needs to go up so check it out now immediately it goes up if it's slow you may need to clean it guys because they do get dirty so check it out again So you can see how it goes up and down so definitely a good working sensor guys hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure out if your math sensor is working thank you for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time